Hi there and a very good evening. My name is Ku Muhammad Loman Hakim bin Ku Abdullah and my matching number is 182322. And today, we're going to sell to you a product named Arduino Smart Home System Flood Detection System. So what is this system about? This system is, is about a flight, a early flight detector. We can see that in Malaysia, the percentage of flood happen every year is 100%. It, uh, as you can see in Sabah, or even in Sarawak, or even in the town area like Kuala Lumpur and in some kind of a rural area that probability to happen is 100% such as Kedah, Kelantan and Pahang. Okay, so today we want to give you all some precaution about some precaution and the step to to make sure you you are ready before the flood before the flood happen. Okay, how do we come uh, on to this project? Okay, first of all, we are we are from six 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 person and our lecturer have give us a task on making a uh, on making an early an early flood detection. So after we make it and we do a survey around the Malaysia, we can see that. Uh, there's a lot of house in the in the in the Malaysia that they they don't have this kind of detection. So why not? This can this can save their money and even can save their life. So then that's all from me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Izati Firza binti Muhammad Reza and my matrix number is one eight two zero seven one. Okay, I will explain about the objective of this flight detection system. Okay, for the first objective. Uh, this uh, flood detection, detection system is a way of detecting events in advance. Uh, secondly, uh, this system can be warned to the public so that action can be taken to reduce the adverse effect of the event. Okay. Uh, and lastly, uh, as such, this this primary objective of the flood. Detection system is to reduce exposure to coastal flooding. Okay, uh, that's all from me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sayed Anish Manan. My metric number is 181181. And today I will describe you about the advantages of early smart early flood detection. So, uh, we are basically working on the timely operational, which is to tell that before the time, like before the flood reaches or flood affects the areas, there is a specific gap of time in which the flood smart detection will tell us that the flood is going to come. So in that smart detection, the people can save the livestock, they, uh, they can install the sand barriers, and flood, flood barriers, which can prevent the minimum disaster. So with this flood smart detection, the people will, uh, before coming disaster, before reaching the maximum level of water, the people will know that the disaster of the flood is going to come into this area so the people can prepare themselves and prepare the things which will uh, control or maximize um, the future disaster and control the areas nearby them so that the flood does not hit the other areas. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. My name is Sean Yabjen An, matrix number 181806 and I'll be explaining about the coding used for our Arduino project. Okay, so first as you can see, We've uh, used constants uh, to make it easier to determine which pin belongs to which component. So if it's, as if, uh, if you see now the button pin, uh, we set it to pin number 2. The uh, LED pin we set to pin number 13. And uh, as you can see later down here, we have set uh, pin number 8 to be the speaker. So here we can see that we have initialized the LED pin and we have initialized the button pin. One as output as well as input. And, uh, Pin mode is an input because we want to sense the uh, water and outputs because when the water is sensed, the LED and the speaker will turn on. So here in the void loop, we can see that button state uh, is equal to digital read of the button pin uh, which is used to test if both pins are connected to the water or not and uh, so that uh, voltage is supplied to both LED and uh, speaker. So here you see if the if statement is used, uh, if button state equals to high, which means both wires are used, okay, digital right uh, LED pin high means the LED will turn on, and you can see here tone eight, two thousand, and one thousand, which is actually the pin number, frequency, and duration, is the beat that is used for the speaker. So there's also a delay to see that uh, the 
the speaker will beep and it will turn off beep and turn off beep and turn off. Okay? And if the and if the two wires are not touched, okay, so you can see a digital right uh, LED pin low, which means that nothing happens because uh, the button state is not pressed. So that's the end of the loop and that's the end of the coding. Thank you. Okay, my name is Prasan Krishnan. Uh, I'm going to explain on the schematic diagram of our project. So this is our Arduino water detection alarm project. Uh, this is the schematic for our project. The pin is connected, the 5 volt pin is connected straight to the water. It's actually to detect the water. Then the green wire is going to the ground on the breadboard. Then the orange wire is connected in series with the resistor and the 2 volt, uh, two pin 2, actually sorry, pin 2 to the resistor. Then the pin 8 is connected to the resistor and plus to the uh, red cable of the speaker which is the anode. Then the other wire green is connected to the ground. So this is a schematic. So in real life, I'm going to show in real life. This is the main part of the schematic. This is a real life project. So nice as you can see from the schematic diagram, we are connected just according to the schematic diagram. So as you can see, the 5 volt volt the yellow color wire is going through the water and the blue is connected to the pin 2 and the orange is connected to the ground on the breadboard and the speaker of the negative anode is, negative cathode is connected to the ground also so the pin 8 is connected to the speaker so this is a complete circuit of a uh, water detection project so let me show how does it works hope it's success so as you can see the yellow pin is going to we're going to put the yellow pin into the water and the blue. So when the water when the blue and the yellow wire is conducting electricity, the speaker will buzz on and the LED will start to light up. So as you can see, when the water is detected, the buzzer is buzzing and the LED is light lighting up. So, according to this, our project is a success. Hi, my name is Naraiza Bidi Shabudin and my magic number is 181764. So, today um, I will talk, talk about uh, the rated rates concept. Okay, first we must calculate the rate of change of height, uh, which is equal to dh over dv times with uh, the rate of change of volume. So, the example is, we have a cuboid. Each of the dimensions is equal to 20 meter for each side, and the water flowing is 50 meter cube per second. So the relationship between volume and height is uh, basically the volume is length, length cube, and then uh, we differentiate uh, the volume, and then we get 3L square. Okay, and then uh, we substitute uh, the length, which is 20 meter, into the uh, differentiate that we we have done, we, and then we will get 1,200. Okay, then we go back to the equation. So we just substitute uh, the dh over dt that we have calculated just now. So and then uh, we will get the rate of change of height which is equal to 0 0.0417 meter per second. So in order for we to know uh, the time needed uh, for the water to fill up the tank is we just uh, calculate uh, 20 meter di divided by the rate of change of height and then we will get 479.6 seconds which is approximately equal to 8 minutes so it proves that it is an early detection for the flat talker so thank you okay as you can see that our promoter have told you about how the system works and how the coding and everything about the system so I think that this, this apparatus is so useful for you. It is cheap and it is reliable and you can use it anywhere and anytime. So I think that you should buy this product because life is more important than your money. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you.